Hello, my friends. Um, sorry, my voice changed a little bit because I have a bad cold. No, it's not COVID, just a bad cold. Quiet. So, it's, uh, we have this TV, it's a Sharp LC 65 LE 643U. The TV came here from another uh, repair shop. Mm -hmm with no power customer took it to another shop keep it over there for like a couple months then customer get it back because they can't fix it so let's see if we can help this customer okay so this is the inside of the tv after we took the back cover we have the power board here we have the main board here we have the chicken board here this is the IR and uh, the standby LED light, speakers, and the buttons. So it's a simple uh, setup here in this TV. So by looking at the power supply, you can see there is one, two, three transformers. This transformer here for the step up voltage. To get the voltage in this big capacitors from 160 over 320 to 390. This transformer here, that's the main transformer for the voltage that's go to the main board. And if we look here, if we look closely here, we're gonna see 19 volt, three pins, then ground. Then a remote, then backlight on off, and the uh, power uh, one and two that to detect uh, the voltages. This transformer here is for the backlight. Mm -hmm. So I took uh, this uh, IR board with a standby light just for me to see what's the TV doing. Plug the TV to the power. We have no standby light here. When we have no power, no light, we're going to go and check. The voltage is here. And the big capacitors we have almost 160 so there is a voltage going to the capacitors this mean the fuse uh, the rectify bridge and the value store all good there is two value stores here too so next we're going to check the output of the board so put this one in the ground and we check here in this diode we have 19 volt this 19 volt we're going to find it here in these three first pins so we have 19 volt this power here it just give going to give one voltage is 19 volt is some other power supply they give uh, five volt standby that's the first voltage that's going to be always on that voltage is going to go to the main board and the main board is going to send power on voltage to the power supply to turn on 12 volts 16 volt 24 volts for some power supplies and the other voltages that required by the tv this setup here is different we have just 19 volt it's going to go to the main board the main board is going to make, take that uh, 19 volt is going to transfer it to the 5 volt to the 3.3 1.8 and 1.2 volt and 12 volt for the check on yeah we're going to check out this voltage uh, to be sure this is what basically the voltages that's the tv need to be 100 percent working so let's check uh, the main board. 
So here we have the green, that's the side of 19 volt. The green is here. We have 19 volt coming to the power supply to the main board with no problem. This 19 volt is go to this capacitor, another capacitor here, and it's go in this chip here. 19 volt. This chip, if you look closely, there is a capacitor here. There is a coil here. That's the output of that chip. So the output of the coil is a zero volt. So there is the input, but there is no output. For us to have the standby light on, we're gonna need to have like 3.3 .3 at the apron. This TV has two aprons, one here, one here. This apron, it has the program that the processor works with. This apron here, it has the program for the GPU that send in the signal to the LPDF. So here, that's the pin number one. At the pin number eight, it should be the VCC 3.3 volt. We have zero volt here. At this apron, this apron doesn't turn on till we press the power button. Of course, we are not gonna have no voltage here. Some voltages in the main board, they are always on. The voltages that's always on is the, the 5 volt, like the input voltage in this case is 19 volt, and 5 volt plus 3.3. .3. These voltages, this will be always on. No matter what, the TV in the standby mode or is in the own mode. So we don't have the 3.3. This is a big problem here. We need that voltage. The TV is not going to work without the APROM has the 3.3. So let me be sure of something. So from this coil, this coil should give some give the power to some DCs of DCs here. This DCs is close to the apron. It should be like controlling the apron, giving the voltage the apron. Let's see where that 3.3 is coming from. So 3.3 is come from this capacitor right here. So right here. Okay. This chip here, that's the chip is given 3.3. This 3.3, it doesn't usually, it doesn't come direct from the first DC to DC. The first DC to DC is going to take 12 volt and they transfer it to the 5 volt. Because when you do a big jam from 12 or 19 volt to the 3.3, this chip is going to like break a lot of voltage. That voltage is going to transfer it as a heat. This chip is going to start getting hot. What do you do? They do like steps. At the first, they take the 19 or 12 volt, transfer it to the 5 volt, then from 5 volt, they transfer it to the 3.3. Then they took 3.3, transfer it to the 1.8, 1.1, or they take 5 volt and transfer it to the 1.1 and 1.8 uh, voltage for the processor and RAM and the controller. So there is a steps. So this, this voltage here, this uh, DC to DC, should be getting the voltage from somewhere so i'm gonna check okay so this capacitor that's the input of this chip there is another chip here 
is it the same input? Okay, so there is a voltage coming to these two chips and one of these chips is giving 3.3 to this one. Yeah, this is the input of the chip. From this input, let's check to see here if this chip is getting the voltage from the coil. That's what we think, exactly. The chip is getting the voltage from this coil. We don't have the voltage here. That voltage is not going to feed this chip. This chip is not going to give the 3.3 volt to this apron. So do we have a short? Let's check if we have a short to the ground in these uh, steps here. Do we have a short in this coil? No. Do we have a short any of these capacitors? No. No short. So what I'm thinking here, this coil here, it should be a 5 volt coil. This chip is transferring 19 volt to the 5 volt. The 5 volt is go to this little DC to DC chip here. It's transferred to the 3.3 and feed in the apron. Okay, so let's check what's that other voltage that chip give. So here we have no voltage. We have the input is a 19. In this bed here, no 5 volt. So we have 5 volt here going to somewhere. No voltage going to the coil. No voltage here. No voltage here. No voltage. Here we have 17 volt. And here no voltage. So the 5 volt voltage are missing. Okay. I set up the power supply at 5 volt. So it's about like uh, 2 amps or less. Yeah, 2 amps over there. And uh, we're going to feed 5 volt. We're going to feed 5 volt to the input of this coil. To here. So the TV is, uh, is plugged in to the power and we're going to keep an eye on this LED to see if it's going to turn on. So at the same time we put it here in this coil, so we put 5 volt here and here look we have a light and look here I can see the backlight. So the TV is, turns on. So let's check some voltage here as the TV is on. Just we be sure. So here in 3.3 volt, look at the multimeter. And the board you see here in the apron, right here we have 3.3 volt. Okay. And The output of this chip here is a one volt. So here, let me do it again. Is a one volt. Yeah, point nine is a one volt. So this is the voltage. This regulator is a one point eight. This regulator here is a one point eight. So I'm gonna look for a for a board because I don't know if I sure I don't have this chip here. So I'm gonna look at the board to see if we can find any replacement. So that's the model number of the TV over there, and let's look for the main board. We have the EEPROMs, but that's not our problem. 
Yeah, no main board, no main boards for sale. The only main board is this one, but this is a repair service. You send them your board, they're going to fix it and bring it back to you. So let's see if that's uh, covering uh, our problems. So here they said the TV turn on then back off. This is a EPROM uh, problem. You can change the EPROM and TV it will work. The EPROM by the processor. The TV stuck at the logo. The same thing is the EPROM problem. TV immediately this is the, the EPROM as well. Volume EPROM. HDMI doesn't work. All these problems here is the apron. Some here they said if the TV like uh, turn off and flash the LED, so that's different thing. So they don't fix the, the problem that we have in this main port. And uh, yeah, it's an ED box for this repair service. Yeah, I think that's why the other repair shop, they couldn't fix it because there is no replacement part. So we have an option here. We're going to use a DC to DC converter to transfer the 19 volt, get it down to 5 volt and feed it to this coil here. So let's uh, so to convert from 19 volt DC to 5 volt DC that we need for the main board we're gonna need gonna use this uh, DC to DC converter and we're gonna use three wires because uh, yeah the ground is the same input and output so this the ground is the same Solder the wires that we need. Okay. And this is the output process. And this DC to DC is coming. It came like handy to convert uh, from a high voltage to a low voltage. And they are not that expensive. Like, uh, they pay like dollar something. I order ten of them. Why you go? I use a couple of them and then uh, send them some. Especially with this motherboard, I can't find it at all. The USB is going to take it. Get it uh, ready. So this is the DC to DC that I rewire. And uh, we have the input here. This is going to go to the 19 volt. This wire here is going to go to the 5 volt. Before we solder this one, we need to adjust the voltage and test it before we connect it. So we don't uh, burn uh, flat and everything. We unplug the TV from the power. So this is the 19 volt input and the other ground we get it from, from where? Let's see what is the ground. So I want a closer uh, ground. So this is a ground here. I'm gonna use that one. So this is the negative side, the N input negative, that's the ground. The IN plus is the positive side. It's gonna go to the positive side. 
of the capacitor. That's the 19 volt. So let's turn on the TV or we just will plug it to the power. You can see the light here is on. And now we're going to test the voltage. Gonna have, need to have 5 volts. We'll put this one on the ground. So here we have 7 or 18 volt. So I'm gonna need to adjust. We still have uh, far to go. Okay, just turn it okay. many times and with this again. Still 18 volt. Okay, maybe that's so. We go with, uh, we go on it like uh, counter uh, clock clockwise. So we have 11 volt now. Let's keep going. We have 1.2. So we need to go a little bit up. Two volt. Three point three. We need five volt. So we keep going. Shall we reach five volt? So six volt here. Okay. Let me just. Almost. We have 5 volt now. So we go from 19 to the 5 volt. Great. We sample the TV and we solder. I put the double side tape to cut so I can tape it somewhere over there. And this one we're going to solder it to the input of the coil. So this, this is the coil. This one we sold the right to here. A small uh, device. Okay, let's see the first test how it's go. Okay, we have the light here, it's good. I did see the backlight. We have the light here, it's good. So let's see if we have any uh, picture because I don't know if there's anything wrong with this screen. Oh, yeah, we have some HDMI, no signal that works. We save this TV. All right. Uh, let me be sure so we share some voltage test with you so you can check all the time. So 19 volt here. So 19 to 20 volt here. Oh, this is mm. 
Hmm. Why this voltage is not stable? Okay, let me see here. Oh. The multimeter are very slow. All right. Yeah. So 19 volt. It's here. Okay, we have ground that. P PWM2 is a 1.6, PWM1 1.6, backlight 3.1, and the remote is a 3.1. The remote is the power on uh, voltage. That power on voltage is going to turn on this uh, transformer to step up the voltage and here you can see is a 340 volt so I put this one on the ground check the main board voltages in this regulator 1.8 this regulator here 1.8 output of this uh, DC to DC here 1.2 volt 1.8 and 1.2 is the, for the processor. So this EPROM here, it has 3.3, this EPROM 3.3, exactly. So this coil here, 12 volt coil. This 12 volt is feeding the, the sound IC. And we're gonna have 5 volt here in USB. The T cone voltage, we should find it here, is a 12 volt. It's a 12 volt. The 12 volt here is feeding the T cone as well. Yeah, TV works. Sound work, HDMI works. Picture look good. And uh, this is what I want to share with you.